everybody, it's your boy Modan, king of the streets and today I'll be reviewing the A Jordan 1 mid in the Chicago white heel color blocking welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in I'd appreciate if everybody watching this video can head over to Instagram give your boy a follow at at Hall of Fame Mo I'll link that down below uh, in, the in the description area uh, comment like subscribe on the channel smash that like button it helps the channel grow at uh, how can I say at an exponential level I got Papi here he can't stop smiling but in any case I gotta shout out Labon's on feet for tossing me this pay to review um, she hasn't worn it yet but uh, she's gonna give you on feet shots of this shoe and on her Instagram so I'm going to link her um, Instagram in the description below of the video and then just give a follow to see images of on feed shots as well as some video. But with that out of the way, let's, let's actually get into these bad boys. Um, if you look at the toe box area, they got a decent white leather, very decent, very decent. And then on the, the toe cap area, it's a white toe. With the, with the signature Jordan 1 perforations. Um, this red overlay runs all the way on both sides of the lateral as well as the medial side. Runs up the lace eyelets as well as right up to the ankle collar, all red. And then what you can see, just on the mid panel of shoe on both sides, it's white with a black swoosh on it. So it's a leather, it's a, it's a leather swoosh right on top of the of the white leather and then on the ankle collar here on both lateral sides of the shoe you have the a jordan one wings logo getting back to the front of the shoe the mud panel on the top you get uh, they give you black flat style laces with a white nylon tongue underneath and then what you get on the top of the tongue is a red tag with the Jump man, jump man, jump man, jump man. Them boys is up to something. <laughs> With the A at the bottom here. What's very iconic about this colorway is that it's the, the Chicago color blocking. I don't know if anybody watched the last dance uh, on episode 6. Jordan was wearing these. And they just showed how iconic this color blocking is. Only difference is with the OG, the difference between this mid and the OG is this white heel here and the cut of the shoe as well as on the OG it has, it has Nike A on the tongue but man in, in my personal opinion these are banging man these is banging getting back to the shoe on the midsole the midsole is all white it's a summit white and then going straight to the bottom of the shoe the original red bottoms it's got no hate for Christian Louboutins or high fashion sneakers it's just not your boy though it's just not your boy but yeah man uh, these is fire these is fire uh, little extender what do you think of these do you like them mm. yes or no yes out of 10 how much would you give them an 8 how much would you give them give them how much would you give them? Would you give them an 8 or a 9 or a 7? 8. You'd give them an 8 or a 10. Yeah, that's, that's a solid review. Same here. Same here. Same here. I mean 10. <laughs> Poppy gives them a 10. Lil Poppy Extendo gives these a 10. So if anybody was able to cop these, I know you ain't gonna find these when you, when you head over to the stores. You won't gonna find these sitting on the shelves, but... Hmm. You can get them for the resale for the for a decent amount. They retail at one thousand four hundred, what the budget fee tells me. But when I've seen when I've gone to reselling sites like the back door and La Familia Gallery and uh, there's a couple there's quite a few on Instagram. These are doing numbers. I'm talking about three bands going up, man. Like three thousand rand going up for these for these things. It's just crazy how Jordan ones are. Selling out in, I'll speak for jo Johannesburg, Joburg, uh, Shelf Life, uh, Share, Share, Rosebank, SNK, Maponia, Street Gym, 
people with seeding votes, but all those places, these things ain't sitting on shelves. They, they ain't collecting dust. They don't sit on shelves, these things. And when I think back, when I used to pick Jordan 1's up, man, I used to think about it. Like, uh, let me sleep on, let me sleep on those. I'll come back in a week or so. And I'd still find them and be able to cop. But now, the game done changed, shawty. The game done changed. But with that said, uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, like I said in the first vid, it's only entertainment baby, we out, bow!